Well, so with the World Cup playoffs looming, I forget, did something happen in Wales last night? Let's take a look at a combined 11 of Premier League flops who've won the World Cup. Fabien Barthez. Am I being harsh by including Fabien Barthez in his list? Probably. The bald-headed Frenchman was erratic, sure, but by no means a terrible goalkeeper. He just caused his own fans to have a mini heart attack every time the ball rolled towards his outstretched gloves. Having won the World Cup in 1998, the former Monaco man was snapped up by Sir Alex Ferguson in 2000, and while he did help the club to win two league titles, many feel they were in spite of him, with his shot stopping reflexes only matched by his ability to make Roy Carroll look good. Rocky Jr. When Leeds United signed Rocky Jr on loan from AC Milan during the 03-04 season, they had every right to be excited. This was a man who just 18 months earlier had been lifting the World Cup trophy alongside the likes of Ronaldinho and Ronaldo. But then he was sent off in his debut and helped the team concede 24 goals in his 7 appearances. Absolute disaster. Marco Materazzi. Marco Materazzi may have won the Champions League, scored in a World Cup final, but he's only going to be remembered for one thing, getting Zinedine Zidane's ball skull ploughed into his chest. The Italian, who reportedly insulted the Frenchman's sister, was the victim of a thousand memes. Thank God Twitter wasn't around 11 years ago, or 2006 would have been one long overplayed joke. The 44 year old was a decent defender, you don't survive a decade in Inter Milan if you're not, but he didn't set the world alight during his 33 appearances at Goodison Park during the 98-99 season, where he was sent off three times. Jared Piquet. Alright, before you instantly downvote this video, it's obvious that Jared Piquet is one of the world's greatest offenders and would probably laugh if he was put in the same team as Rocky Jr. The man has won seven league titles, four Champions Leagues, a World Cup and a European Championship. And let's not forget who's making his dinner every night. But he managed just 12 league games in four seasons at Old Trafford, finding it impossible to dislodge either Rio Ferdinand or Nemanja Vidic from the starting lineup. Ricardinho. You might wonder, who was Ricardinho? Good question, Middlesbrough fans are probably asking the same question 13 years later. A World Cup winner in 2002, although he made just three substitute appearances, he ended up at Middlesbrough in 2004 on the recommendation of Janinho. Next time, leave it to the scouts, lads. He never played a single game for the club and quickly returned to Brazil. Bastian Schweinsteiger. The first German to make this list, and arguably the best player, Manchester United fans were probably pinching themselves with excitement when they landed the Bavarian legend a year after triumphing in Brazil. But lads, if Bayern Munich were suddenly so willing to let him leave after nearly 20 years of service, there was probably a good reason. Capped 121 times for his country and with 8 league winners medals stuffed in his pocket, Schweinsteiger struggled with the pace of the English game in his first season and found himself completely frozen out in his second. Had the club signed him 5 years earlier it would have been a different story, instead of the pale shadow that was a few months off MLS standard. Christian Cambeo, another World Cup winner that ended up at the Riverside, presumably without researching how grim the actual town is, sorry Borough fans, but it is. Christian Cambeo Bayo was hailed as a coup and Middlesbrough took him from Real Madrid in 2000. The man had won the World Cup, European Championships and two Champions Leagues. What was he doing in the same team as Dean Windass and Joseph Desire Job? In the end he failed to rise to the challenge. Good job he didn't make good on his promise to become a porn star then. He left the club for Olympiacos at the end of the season where he very quickly slid into obscurity. Cleberson. Probably the go-to name for Premier League flops that won a World Cup, purely for the fact that he was signed solely for having that achievement on his CV. Cleberson was signed by Manchester United at the same transfer window as Cristiano Ronaldo. One went on to achieve brilliance and establish himself as one of the world's all-time greats. The other ended up playing for Indy 11 and Fort Lauderdale Strikers. He made just 20 appearances for the Red Devils in his two seasons. Jesus Navas. Alright, so maybe it's a bit harsh to include a man who played nearly 200 games for Man City and contributed to a title win and two League Cups, especially considering there was once a time where he couldn't set foot outside Seville without breaking into a panicked sweat. Then again, the man is a winger and has scored four league goals in 123 games and none since his debut season. That is a horrendous statistic for a man who has played so many games. He's blessed with all the pace in the world, but if there was a gun to his head and he was told either perform a successful cross or his family would be executed, he might as well have started planning funeral arrangements because most of those balls would end up in Rosette. Stefan Givarch. When Newcastle United signed Stefan Givarch in the summer of 1998, the Geordies must have thought they were onto something. After all, he just started up front for France as they trounced Brazil 3 0 in the World Cup final. He lasted three months at the club, scoring once in four games before being flogged to Rangers by Ruud Hullet. A complete waste of time. Lucas Podolski. Okay, so Lucas Podolski was a good player and a German legend. 49 goals in 130 games is incredible. Not bad for a lad who originally wanted to play for Poland. And let's be honest, the current Wiesel Kobe striker, they are a real club, honest, wasn't too bad in the Premier League either. But at the same time, he didn't pull up any trees. He arrives in 2012 alongside Olivier Giroud as Arsene Wenger tried to shove anything he could find to plug the Robin van Percy shaped hole in their forward line. 11 goals in 33 appearances was a decent return for a debut season. 8 in 20 during his second was a drop off before he failed to find the net during the opening months of the 14-15 campaign, getting flogged to Inter Milan in January. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.